In today's video, I am going to be breaking down different baseline inbounds plays that you can run if you've got a fantastic center who can really put to work in the low post. So let's get down and let's check this out. Really quickly, if you're looking to be able to become a better basketball coach, make sure to go check out my complete guide to coaching youth basketball. Half of the proceeds from that book are going to go to helping local youth be able to afford AAU basketball. So let's get down and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with three players at the free throw line, our center at the point, and of course, our inbounds player being, in theory, our top or second best shooter on the floor. We've all heard of an elevator play, which is when two players close together so that they set a screen, in this case, for player five. Usually, an elevator screen will be used so that you get three-point shots, but this is going to be the complete opposite. Player 3 as well as player 4 are going to close after player 5 cuts to the basket. We're hoping to basically trap player 5's man between or in front right here, those two players, so that we have an open layup by player 5. If this is not open, player 2 is going to then sprint out towards the wing and player 1 is going to pass the ball into player 2. If the ball goes to player 2, then player 1 needs to relocate out towards the corner and we can pass that ball back to player 1 if player 2 doesn't have a 3 so that player 1 has a 3 point shot. So we're looking for a layup here, a 3 point here, or a 3 point here. Those are our options. If Player 5 and player 2 are not open. I would like to have a player 5 clear out. Player 3 is then going to roll and sprint down towards the baseline. And of course, player 4 is going to be being the relief man so that we have at least two more options if the first two options are not open. If the ball goes down to player 3, then this needs to be either a lay uh, this needs to be a layup. Anytime the ball is this close to the basket, you need to go up. If the ball goes out to player 4 instead, then at this point we would set up a play. This next play you can call line or whatever you feel like calling it, and basically we're going to have player 3 and player 4, they're going to be setting screens four players two and five so three and four should be sitting right next to each other player two is going to be sprinting out towards the three-point line and player five is going to be sprinting up but he's going to be going down towards that low post now the ideas here is obviously we would like to get that ball into player five that is our number one option our second option or potentially first option if you've got a shooter, is the three-point shot. Now, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to have a couple of defenders. If we go back to where these players were, when you have player three and four set up basically a wall screen, they're side by side, and you have a player, your first player going out towards the three-point line, if player two goes under to try and recover, obviously you need to get that ball into player two. But if you run this a few times, and player two starts going over, let's say, and then player five goes over top of these screens, you are most likely going to have player five trailing player five blue. Because your initial option is a three, they're going to be worried about player five sprinting out towards this corner and being another three point option. So you're gonna have a lot of different, a lot of times where player five is going to be absolutely wide open for that layup. Now, let's say player two and player five are not open. Player five needs to continue through. Player four needs to be the next player who rolls now. Player three still setting that screen. And then player three needs to pop out as a relief. Now, player one can pass the three or four. Four has to score. Three sets up a play. If we get that ball into player two as an example, the first option that I wanna see is either a three Second option is hitting player one back in the corner for a three himself or dribbling it up or passing it up to three to set up a play. So player two has three options. He can take the three point shot, he can pass for the three, or he can bring it up top and set up a play, one or the other. Now this is a fun play that I like to run and you can run this in multi multiple different ways. And depending on who is actually running this play and how the defense is reacting, you can run this different ways. So for example, 
Player one can go through, and he's going to be the number one option for a three-point shot. And player five is going to be attacking the rim, and he's going to be the, one of the number one options as well to hit the layup. Now, if this is the case, he needs to score, he needs to shoot. If he's not open to shoot, then we would be looking at player two popping out for a three here, if, he got, if player one gets that ball, or player two using five as a screen, three popping, and then, of course, passing over to two for a three in which case we would hit our three-point shot, or we can use that to be able to set up a play up top, one or the other. But you can also run this a different way as well. For example, if we were to run it for player five, let's say player five is not a very good three-point shooter, but we've been running this same play, let's say, for 20 times this game, and they're all accept expecting our guy to go out for the three. Now we run it for a center. A center uses the elevator screen once again, but this time he cuts down. The whole team, everyone on the other team is going to be expecting the three-point shot, but because now player five is the one we are calling, instead of him stepping out for a three, he's going in for a layup. And this is what's going to allow us to be able to make that layup easy. If he's not open, player one's also going to be running around this wall of a screen and he could be a secondary option but our first option in this play is to get player five that ball i hope that these plays help your team win more games make sure to go check out my complete guide to coaching youth basketball that's a fantastic book that's going to help you a ton with your team but also it's going to really help a lot of players locally because half of the proceeds are going to go towards helping players pay for team fees Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.